made the long journey from Canada to New Zealand and we have landed right here in Queenstown. And for those who don't know, we have actually just moved to New Zealand even though we have never visited this country before. So everything is about to feel really, really new for us. Behind me right here is Queenstown. It is like a ski town on the South Island in New Zealand. We are experiencing it for the first time. Already first impressions, it's feeling a little bit like Whistler. We're from Vancouver in Canada, so we've been to Whistler many, many, many times. I'm already kind of getting that feeling, which was kind of what we were expecting, um, but let's go see what we can find. So it is the first day of November right now, and we actually left Canada to escape the winter because obviously Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand is going into their summer, Canada's going into their winter. So we figured we'd leave in autumn, get out of there before the snow hits. It's kind of funny because one day before we arrived, there was a snowfall here in Queenstown, um, which is kind of ironic. I think like the temperature probably weirdly enough is the same in Canada right now as it is in New Zealand, but hopefully that will change very soon because yeah, we're here for summer. So I don't want to wait too long for it. Oh, Cabo had a boardwalk like this. Oh, so you think it's like Mexico now? Now it's now it's just <laughs> giving Mexico. Babe, look, it's like palm trees and mountains. It even says Baja Mexico. <laughs> As far as I understand, if I've done any of my research correctly, it's gonna get really, really busy here come the summer. We kind of arrived in like shoulder season, so I mean, I already think that it's pretty busy for a smallish town, but I know that it's gonna get like hella busy in the coming months. We have a friend that will always whistle to get our attention. Like if we saw each other on the street, they'd be like, like with the fingers in the mouth. And the amount of times I've been freaked out here thinking that our friend is here calling me because of the birds. They have such a like sing-songy sort of whistle, but it's freaked me out like three times I already. someone was like cat calling us. Yeah, I was like, oh, me? Like, <laughs> thanks. They make themselves very known. No wild animals though. No, no wild predators. No, yeah, sorry. No wild predators though. That's what's gonna be so weird when we go camping for the first time because it's gonna be like, I'm so used to going camping with like bears and mountain lions and all of that and like being worried or like carrying bear spray Yeah, we have to always carry bear spray but on us. But you don't have to worry about that here. I feel like camping will be so much more chill. The one thing that pretty much everyone checks out when they come to Queenstown and that we have been told to go check out is Ferg Burger. It's like a Queenstown staple. There's always, from all the videos we've watched, there's always like lineups around the block. So like we said, it's not like a super busy season. So we'll see if there's a line, but we're excited to try it. We did read that they do have like a vegan option available. So we will see if it lives up to its hype. The fun part about just having arrived somewhere is that you feel like, I mean, at least for me, I feel like we can, this is the time to do all of like the touristy things because we're gonna be living here. So I think that like one day we're gonna look back at this video and be like, oh my God. I feel like that's the point of the first couple of days. We only got one to split between the two of us because we might want to try like a couple things today in town. Um, we got the holier than thou burger. It's like their tofu burger and we got it cut in half We're just gonna split it. Basically you just order at the front and then you get a number There was no line for us today. Like we were still behind like two people, which I mean You want to come here without a line? I guess come in shoulder season. The Scorpio me wants to like not like it <laughs> But it's not because I want to like not like things I just am always like, oh, it can't be that good. And then the total for just one burger, no fries or anything, is, was $17.50. And it's kind of funny, like, the prices look like they are just so high everywhere that we go. Um, but it, if you consider the fact that, like, tax is already included in the price and it's not a tipping country, I mean, even back home in Canada, a $14 burger turns into a $17.50 burger pretty quickly, so. I think it's fairly priced. Pretty big. Yeah, I'm glad we only got one. Really nice. It's actually really, really good. It's like really good. It does kind of live up to that. <laughs> it was really, really, really good. I'd wait in line for that. I don't know about like an hour line or something like that, but I'd wait in line. 
So of course, New Zealand is home of the All Blacks, which is their rugby team. Super killer, super good. Unfortunately, they just lost in the World Final to South Africa, but we live here now, so we are diehard supporters. So let's go see what kind of gear we can get. Tuke is pretty sick, but it was like a little bit too long. Like I feel like if I put it on my head, it would go below my ears. Yeah, you know, I don't really like love watching sports, but rugby, I was like, <gasps> I was like jumping out of my seat, it was so exciting. And then I went on to Twitter, or X, I guess. And I went on to Twitter and everyone was like, this is the most boring game ever. I was like, this if this is boring, then I think that I like watching this sport. I'm the cutest here about what I sell. Thank I'm you. Enjoy. Okay. I'm sure we will. This looks amazing. We've got a veggie bao here. Uh, normally made with jackfruit, but didn't have any jackfruit, so it's made with mushroom, and it looks incredible. Cheers. Frog Rigger was, was really good, don't get me wrong, but this is like, this is where it's at. And something that we learned pretty quickly when we were doing like our research about living in New Zealand is that basically anywhere that you live, as far as I understand, it's probably better if you have a car. Whereas like where we're from in Vancouver, it's like better if you don't. I mean, I guess that that would be debatable. And I've already realized why people say that. We're not like directly in town right now. Honestly, such a quick drive, like less than 10 minutes, but it feels like so long and you couldn't walk it because of the way that everything's like spaced out here. So what we just did in town was get a B card. So this is basically like the bus cards here. Um, and then you load it up. I mean, we have the same thing back in Canada, but like you load it up either at the shop or online and then you just like tap on and tap off of the bus. I think it's like $2 to take the bus if you have a B card and then it shoots up way more if you don't have a B card and you're just paying cash. Although we aren't planning on taking the bus everywhere and we actually have somewhere to go to check out a vehicle. So come with us as we do that. We're on the bus right now on our way to look at a vehicle. Hopefully it goes well. We're not rushing to get anything. We just thought you were getting I think this is the one. Um, well, <laughs> but we just bought a car! Holy smokes, man. Eh? Holy shit. Turn, but like, you're just in the, uh, just, <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> the left turn is like the easy one. Like usually the right one is the easy one. Yeah. This is like crazy. We just went, this is the first vehicle we saw. We loved it right away. The guy was fucking awesome. So we were like, okay, let's just buy it. And then I just transferred in the money and then we're off. Then we can change the registration online, which is not how it works in Canada. In Canada, it is such a big process. Like you have to go to the insurance place, you have to do the whole thing. So, and it's really weird for me being on this side and not driving. Like I feel like the car is driving itself. <laughs> the gas is basically on empty. So the first stop is going to be the gas station to fill it up. This is like so, it's so weird. The roundabouts and everything, it feels like everything's going the wrong way. No like easing into it. Like no. we, we can live here now. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Zog's sex wax. The best you for your stick. Fill up, then park up. Feel free to park up, then pay inside. Okay. Okay. Why are you holding it like that? <laughs> You're holding it all weird. Three dollars and four cents per liter is insane. That's so much. It's a lot of fucking money. We're on a small island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, so. Can't complain, eh? <laughs> so essentially we just like purchased the vehicle, sent the guy the money, he said, okay, it's, take it. And then we came to the post shop. Without him. Without him. And then we just filled out like one small sheet of paper with like my name and date of birth pretty much gave her a passport and then now we own we the vehicle own the, <laughs> this says i own the vehicle now so okay something i've already noticed about driving here in queenstown is that all the main roads like the highways connecting like or highways i should say connecting queenstown to like the next suburb and the suburb after that are all single lane and there's no traffic lights it's all just roundabouts which isn't terrible but if you have to cross traffic to get into your lane pulling out from somewhere you can be waiting for 
minutes sometimes. There's no extra lane that you can kind of pull into and then merge in. You kind of have to wait until traffic clears. So look, this is like a main road and it's like single lane, single lane, and then there's just those roundabouts. Something to think about when we're driving. Like if I'm coming back from somewhere, and I'll message Rachel and be like, hey, should I grab groceries? Because it's like, I know that it's gonna be on that side and I'll have an easier time. I won't have to wait as long to merge in. Yeah, where is there even a traffic light? I don't think we've seen a single traffic light. Uh, no, no, in town, actually. Oh, there's one here, in there's there. One right but our friend was saying that there, there's only one like real freeway and that's between Auckland and somewhere. The Chilliwack here. I feel like when I'm crossing the street, even looking which way the cars are coming because like usually i'd look this way and think that they're coming this way and then vice versa i mean there's no cars coming right now but i feel like i have to like extra extra look oh my god it's so weird that we already have a car so i guess i won't have to worry about that for long new zealand so far first impressions amazing we love it here already i feel like within the first day nick honestly said to me <laughs> Nick honestly said to me, he's like, I could move here. I'm like, we did move here. So um, that's a good sign. If you're saying, oh, we could move here about a place that you just moved, we're doing well so far. Uh, it's so beautiful here. I can't wait till the weather just warms up a little bit um, because it's still a bit cold in the mornings, but absolutely loving Queenstown. Can't wait to show you guys more um, as we start to learn more about it as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.